guys. Welcome to Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm going to country today. Uh, if you don't know me very well, I, I love rock and roll. I also love country music. I played country music and rock for a lot of years. So uh, I'm a musician. So don't be surprised if I'm switching off and on if you haven't been here before. I can go for anywhere from Kiss to Hank Williams. I just love music. Uh, but today's is on uh, the three biggest and silliest uh, feuds in country music. And we'll start with Charlie Rich and John Denver. It's by far one of the biggest feuds in country music history, and many still remember when it started. Back in 1975, John Denver won the CMA Entertainer of the Year Award. Charlie Rich announced the win and then promptly burned the card with Denver's name on stage. It was an ugly moment and no one in the audience knew what to do. Many believed Rich was angry at Denver's success. However, later on, Rich's own son said he believed his father was simply drunk and not thinking clearly. Unfortunately for Rich, the stunt cost him his career in a number of ways. And to this day, no one knows if either side of the dispute ever made up. Tim McGraw versus his record label. Uh, this feud took place in 2010s, and a lot of people were on Tim McGraw's side. The country singer was engulfed in a battle with Curb Records, who sought to keep him on their contract. They sued the singer around 2011 and claimed that he breached said contract. McGraw's counter sued and made it clear that he just wanted out of the unfair agreement. It wasn't until 2013 that McGraw finally won his case and got signed with Big Machine. Travis Tritt and Billy Ray Cyrus by far one of the goofiest feuds in country music, this spat involved singers Travis Tritt and Billy Ray Cyrus. Allegedly, Tritt called Cyrus a uh, huge one-hit wonder, achy breaky heart, a uh, literally an ass-wiggling contest. Cyrus didn't take kindly to this and referenced the diss in his acceptance speech in the 1993 American Music Awards. It was a media candy for a while, and the years since, Tritt acknowledged that his comments were a bit rude. But true. Uh, if you ever seen achy breaky heart video and stuff, it's just ridiculous. It's crazy. It's not country at all. Uh, kind of a pop country type thing. Now later on, Cyrus, Billy Ray Cyrus did do a few, uh, really good songs, but none, none, uh, touch the, uh, popularity or the success of achy breaky heart, which just sucks right down the line because it's just a terrible song. But, uh, and, and you know what? He should have just took it with a laugh because whoop de doo who cares? I mean, he's, he got a success out of it. Although someone a lot more talented saying that, you know, might mean something because Travis Tritt was very talented and, and a great songwriter, great, great, great musician, kind of bluesy country. Uh, I, I love Travis Tritt's music, and I just think he's a great guy, too. And even I, I, I got better, more respect for him now that he actually pretty much apologized for what he did. But there's three of the silliest feuds for you. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please don't forget to, forget to subscribe if you have not yet. Please like this video. Please, please, please. It sets me up in the algorithm a little better, and we'll get more people in here if you do. And plus, it also lets me know what you think. Appreciate it. Uh, have a great day, guys. God bless, and you know I'm praying for you.